hi guys um i have this um flowery four in one nail white pencil um i paid two dollars at my local beauty supply place regular 350 and what this is is that it's a pencil that you can draw the white tip on without using regular polish if it's a chalk i don't know if it's just a regular paint that can be watered down by a substance they have the directions on the back and um it tells you to do your own prep work on your nails before applying your white tip and you know what that is pushing back the cuticle dehydrating everything for your manicure to last longer they say you need some nail whitener and under the nail prepper and residue cleaner and um i'm not doing the nail whitener thing here i already prepped my nails it's fine um this is not my first impression i i did play around with it for a little bit and i will um let y'all pretty much know how i feel about this um you can sharpen the pencil to a dull point for maximum comfort during using uh meaning that the point can be a little flat and not as pointy um and that's basically it and um it's by flurry this is how the pen comes got a cap it got a point to it um, if you was to buy this I'll put the cap right there so you won't lose it I'm going to use alcohol it didn't tell you what to use to marcin it it does give you directions on how to do it marcin pencil tip gently draw under the under the nail tip Sharpen pencil with the standard pencil sharpener. Um, the first off that, you know, some people don't have a free edge. And um, they want the white tip to be very thin. So if they don't have a, under, if they don't have a f free edge, you really can't use this. Basically what they're saying. But I'm sure you can draw on top of the nail with this. It's pretty fine. I don't know what the purpose is of doing it underneath the free edge unless there was a typo issue on their directions. They said gently draw under the nail tip. I don't know if it meaning that meaning that the nail tip of what they're talking about is the starting point of your free edge right here. Of your smile line start at your smile line and draw the line from your smile line um, but it says under your nail tip but this is how I'm gonna do it um, I'm gonna just use some alcohol 99% alcohol that's how that looks I sprayed it with alcohol and my nails do need to be whitening for real um, so it's moist already on the tip. It's wet. So this is going to be kind of odd for me to do, but I'm going to try to stay in frame as best as I can. And what you do is gently float this around like this. Try not to dip. It got to be pretty moistened. Uh oh, I just, you have to be very gentle with this so you won't get that chalky stuff that I just did. You, you want it to be really moistured. Um, something is pulling away, so I must have some, I did put some oil on my hands before this, so that's basically how you do it. 
Um, clean up before it dry because I'm sure it's going to be harder to do it. See, I don't like those things on there, the little pieces. So, let's try this again on another nail. I think you got to get it really, really wet. You don't have any beads or anything on there because it will transfer on your nail. You try to have it as wet as possible. Not too wet, but, you know. Oh, it's so hard to draw this on here. See, it's already basically. I think I got all on my nail beds. Because after I cleaned them, dehydrate them, they looked as so dry on camera, and I said, ooh. I think it's better for me to do it like this so y'all can actually see it. I'm using dry alcohol because it's, it's actually drying it pretty fast. So you don't want to be so rough with it. You want to float it when it's wet. See how it's floating on there? Don't want to play with it too much because you'll get those dents in the okay we're going to go ahead and start this one i oh, should have used water huh So you're actually floating it on there. Now, if I don't wet it again before I start, let's see how wet it still is. So it starts making some scratches in there. I didn't do my free edge. Oh, look at that mess. <laughs> it was too much. It's really flooded. I just to put too much alcohol on there. I did touch it because look at my little spot right there. Oops. Let's see if I can go back and fix that. Now you really can't go back 
too much unless it's very, very wet. If you don't want no dents in it. So I just spray it again. And I'm oh see, it's you can't you have to float it on there. Okay. I didn't do the free edge on this one. Clean up this mess right here. Gonna spray this again. And I'm just floating it. Okay, last one guys. I'm going to go ahead and I think I'm going to wet it again because it's a lot of, don't look like the alcohol is um, preventing it to work. I do have a little bit of oil on my hands. You can see how it's separating. So it, it got to be prepped, dehydrated really good. No oils on the hands, but I'm not keeping this on my fingernails, so. This would be good for beginners, but I actually do better with the polish. I think you have to completely let this dry before you top coat this because I would think that you will smear it. I don't know guys. Alright. Um, okay. Just going to do one hand for y'all and I'm done with that. Put some top coat. Not too neat to me. Not too neat. That's probably because I'm not paying. <laughs> When this stuff dries, it's kind of, it's hard to come off. That's why I say you got to get it off as soon as before it dry. Okay, let's see how this is going to um, pan off. I'm using Colorstay 
gel envy diamond top coat you can get that from Walgreens I'm not using my good stuff but it's not a bad top coat <laughs> You don't want to swipe over it too many times because look, it will smear. One pass, don't go over it again. Down the middle, down the side, down the side, down the side, down the middle, down the side. <laughs> ah. Down the middle, down the side. Oh, I'm pressing too hard. Load it. And I knew I pressed it too hard. I didn't smear that to no end. <sighs> okay, guys, what y'all think? Not my best. Not my best French at all. <laughs> and I can... It... <laughs> Just not for me. I got to pick my words wisely because I'm nobody product, you know. So... Like... The starting of white tips with no other ideas. It's like um, like a map pencil drawing a white tip on your nail. It's like a little kid learning how to draw with the crayon. It's like, to me, it's just... Something that you play around with at home. Um, I, I wouldn't feel comfortable charging a client with this, using this pencil. Yeah, because you will see the struggle on trying to perfect the water consistency to get that nail from beating up, bumping up, spacing out. Uh, any imperfections with this pencil so I no it's just not for me it might be for some somebody else but if you want to try it out you know google it virally nail white pencil I'm sure it'll pop up it's um it's something that I've seen before it's just a different element of it because they do have the paint pencils and stuff like that to draw in a white tip but wetting it and drawing it on there, it's like, this is like a watercolor to me. It's like a watercolor. Um, so, yeah, guys, this is my time. I hope y'all enjoyed the review of this nail white pencil. Until next time, y'all have a smiley day. Bye.